We came in to feed the reindeer today and discovered that we have a reindeer calf. We've been noticing that Hope here has had her milk coming in and we thought, no way she's pregnant because it's really late to have a calf. They typically have calves in late April to early May, but yesterday I was actually saying she actually might be pregnant and she was. <laughs> So definitely didn't expect her to have a calf in July. Me neither. As soon as we see a calf, we immediately call Howie. Just let her know, hey, we have a baby. All staff, just so everyone knows, we have a reindeer calf on the ground. This calf is absolutely adorable. Reindeer calves are one of the cutest calves, I think, in the world. <laughs> reindeer calves are my absolute favorite. Hey, Howie, you gonna come from this side? <gasps> Little baby. Does it have a yellow butt? Yeah. That just means it's got a colostrum poop. Okay. It's a good sign. The biggest key we're looking for with that calf is we want to see it stand up. It needs to get that first suckle, that first bit of milk, because that's full of all the antibodies for that calf to survive. It's called colostrum. It's actually kind of a yellowish tinted color milk and produces the same color going out. So who's the daddy? I really think Chuckles could be the father. Chuckles is our halter trained big bull. You can always spot Chuckles when you're looking at the reindeer herd because he has the biggest, most extravagant antler set in the group. Chuckles hasn't actually been used for breeding over the years, but maybe Chuckles did get the job done. Wrong spot, girl. Keep going further back. That's not, that's not the nipple. Neither is that. Oh, the reindeer and their intelligence. 